Robert De Niro is arguably one of the worst actors suffering from TDS in Hollywood and in this absolutely wild meltdown that we're going to be checking out today which a lot of people are saying is possibly one of his worst absolutely crazy TDS tirades that he has had yet he goes absolutely crazy we're going to be checking it out he was on Jimmy Kimmel and both of them of course suffer from TDS so it was a perfect opportunity for both of them just to uh, have their weird little uh, little jerk off session talking about this and and uh, let's just say that it didn't go the way that Robert De Niro was hoping that it would after this crazy twist that we're going to be checking out after this video. So let's go ahead and jump into this acclaimed actor Robert De Niro once again trashed former President Donald Trump and yet another expletive fueled rant this week. So he was on Jimmy Kimmel. They had a great time doing this. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. You, uh, you and I have something in common. Uh, it, it, we have both been immortalized uh, on social media by our former president, Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, we have... Uh, I there is no one else on the planet who is more obsessed with President Trump. There is no one else on the planet that has more rent-free realty than President Trump in the minds of Jimmy Kimmel and Robert De Niro. I think um, this might have been the first time he <laughs> wrote about you. Robert De Niro, a very low IQ individual, has received two, he spelled two wrong, many shots to the head <laughs> by real boxers in movies. I watched him last night, truly believe he may be punch drunk, and then he says, uh, at the end he says, wake up punchy, he says to you. <laughs> And that's not the only time, uh, and he moved over to Truth Social. Robert De Niro, whose acting talents have greatly diminished with his reputation now shot, must even use a teleprompter for his foul and disgusting language. Robert De Niro is absolutely loving this. Just look at that smile on his face. He, he is like, oh yeah, finally, I get to talk about Trump again. It's been like five minutes and I need to talk about him. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> so disrespectful to our country. Now... In all fairness uh, to the former president, is that true? Do you have to use a teleprompter when speaking about President Trump? Or are you able to um, just kind of riff on, what, on your thoughts on him? Uh, yeah, I, he, he's so f***ing stupid. <laughs> They, they just, they, they need to have that Trump fix, don't they? That is exactly what they're doing here. Uh, oh, oh, Trump. Oh, Trump. Oh my gosh. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Look, look at the lame, inane things that he said. He's so stupid, he can't even say anything clever or smooth. He's a f***ing moron. And apparently Robert De Niro says, thinks that he's saying something extremely clever here. Is that what he's trying to get at? Because all he is saying is, Trump is having stupid. Trump is a moron. Literally the exact same thing that he was saying like a week ago when he was doing another interview with, uh, with Bill Maher. <laughs> But he's a scary one. And, and in all seriousness, and we know it here, people have to get out and vote and vote and vote and vote. Yeah. One, one time he... <laughs> but I thought he was stupid. If he is stupid, then what's there to worry about? You know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, Do you think he pretends to be dumber than he is to confuse people and no. make them think... He's no, not, you think he's... No. I don't think so. Why do you think, I'm curious why you, why, why you would guess that there are, there's a big group of people in this country who believe that he cares about them. I am totally dumbfounded, baffled by that. I can't understand it. And it's a thing that we've seen over the, over. And this shows you right here that the Hollywood elites just do not get it. They do not get it. They do not understand People like you and me, they don't understand middle America. They don't understand many, many people out there who have been suffering for decades and decades under absolutely ridiculous policies and elites who have had a stranglehold on society. 
they do not understand it at all. Well, let's just say that Robert De Niro has not had a good time after that because he has been getting absolutely obliterated all over the internet for this tirade that he went on. And we have Megyn Kelly who has also chimed in on a lot of this. By the way, De Niro is also very upset that Donald Trump is an alleged racist. Wonder if he pulled Jimmy Kimmel aside last night and asked him to atone for his blackface loving past. Hmm. Interesting. No mention of that, was there? No mention of blackface Jimmy Kimmel. Huh. It's almost like they are very selective in who they decide to be outraged about, including the one guy who stands in the way of all of their woke agenda nonsense, which is, of course, President 45, soon to be President 47. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.